I'm not going to make excuses for what happened at the Metricor. I did what I did, and you have every reason to hate me. All I ask, if you're going to master the charity, is that you don't tell anything to Mum. I want to spare her the pain and shame of knowing who and what I really am. Really? Yes. If you gave a damn about Lady Jane, you wouldn't have crossed the line to whatever it is that you are now, Jerry. What, what are you, a terrorist? Because that's what they call people who blow up buildings I and take I did hostages. it for the money, Jax. The money. You did it for the challenge. You wanted to pull off the impossible. And when it went wrong, you shot Robin Scorpio to watch her bleed just for the fun of it? On the contrary, it was perfectly calculated. I shot her because I knew it would keep the other hostages in line. She, she was the only person in the lobby that people would rally around, thereby reducing my chances of a hostage revolt. Robin is a friend of mine. And you knew that. I mean, you had dinner with her countless amount of times when you were living in Port Charles. Well, you could have killed her. Then it's really lucky that your lovely wife knows her way around a needle and thread that out, isn't it? You mean Carly's the, the daughter of the woman you almost married? <laughs> and imagine what a disaster that would have been. If I'd married Bobby, I would have broken her heart in weeks, in months. She was very fortunate that I made, I made a sense of it all and moved on. You ran away. I wish. This town's bad luck for me anyway. So I haven't told me what happened to you. Doesn't matter. It does to me. I want to know what turned you into this person I hardly know. I came here to find out about Craig, not a character review. Have you forgotten where you got the money to pay for that hotel? You watched me get shot in the head. And then you probably stepped right over me to make sure that Sonny was all right. And then you did what? Remarried him? So that you wouldn't have to testify that you watched him try to kill me. Wow, so much for brain damage. Your memory seems to be working just fine. And you must want me out of here pretty badly to make a slip like that. So you got one of two choices. You can either tell me everything I want to know about Craig. Or I go straight to Sonny and Jason, tell them you have recovered fully and you're as dangerous as ever. Tell me. Does your new husband realize that you're still in love with Sonny? I think you like the way he abuses you, Carly. The worst mistake I ever made. Right back at you. Tell me everything Craig said, like what, what he's doing here, what he wants from you. Craig found out that I'm in the academy. He wants me to run interference for him with the cops. And, and if you don't, he's going to tell everyone you're one of the Metro Court gunmen. Oh, okay, well, we need to get some sort of leverage on him. Craig is not Scott Baldwin. We can't blackmail him into backing off. Okay, then we just need to find someone that that's Craig is scared of, like Sonny or Jason. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They were both in the Metro Court, not to mention that Craig terrorized Carly and Sam for hours. And if we just tell Sonny and Jason that, that Craig is back making threats, then what you did in the hotel will seem like not a big deal. Sonny and Jason already know that I was one of the gunmen. That's why I had to join the academy. Sonny wanted somebody on the inside to pass him information. If I don't, I die. I'm not surprised Abzer's gearing up to come after us after that botched ambush at the cellar. But why is, why is Craig back? Well, maybe he never left. Is that true? I don't know. Today's the first time I've seen him since the whole Metro Court deal fell apart. How much information did you withhold that night to protect Abzer? Look, I'm just asking. I didn't want anyone to get hurt, okay? If I could do it all over again, I would. Okay, what, what, what did you overhear? Alcazar and Craig talking him up. Craig said if Lorenzo didn't take out you and Jason, he'd kill him. Okay, we appreciate the warning. Sonny, look, Lorenzo has my daughter. If he dies first, I may never get a chance to see her again, okay? Look, I I know that you don't have any reason to help me, absolutely none, but come on, you're a father, okay? You have a little girl of your own. 
So I'm begging you, please, just just give me some more time. Uh, Don't Jim. let Greg kill Lorenzo. Don't let Greg kill Lorenzo before I get a chance to Al Gazar is safe. For now. Thank you. But Mr. Craig is a different story. He's not going to make it to the night. How did Sonny and Jason figure out that you were one of the gunmen? I was the only hostage that saw your face. Max figured it out. He was suspicious when the first day I started working at the hotel. And then I slipped and called you three, and Max told Sonny, and now he's threatening to kill you, and this is all my fault. I made the choice to stay in Port Charles. It was a lot of pressure from me. I knew the risks, Maxie. Besides, Sonny told me I'd live as long as I cooperate. Why didn't you say anything to me? All those times I gave you a hard time about wanting to be a cop. I didn't want to get you involved. I am involved with you and everything that happens to you. The only reason I told you the truth now is because I don't want you getting hurt. And you have got to promise me that you're going to back off and let me handle this on my own. Do you trust me? You know I do. Then... You have to let me help you get out of this. Okay, all you need to do is, is set up a meeting with Craig. Craig should be halfway around the world by now. What do you think is keeping him? Whatever it is, Craig isn't going to live long enough for it to matter. Okay. you got to be smart about this. Craig doesn't care who we hurt in that hotel. You do. You let this thing get too personal. You are Last time I dead. tried to kill him, he said we only get one father. Now he is going to pay for killing Alan. You see, we all have a defining moment in our life. Something that forever changes who we are, and more importantly, where we're going. And, you know, some of us act out out of sheer boredom. You dropped off the earth for almost an entire year. Not a phone call, not an email. Mom and I were ready to write you off as dead. Then you just show up out of the blue and pretend that everything's fine, but it wasn't, was it? Because a few months later, you had your face changed. So you could come into town unrecognizable and want to blow up my hotel. That's not boredom, Jerry. Do you remember what Dan used to tell us about life when we were kids? What? All these talks about how life shouldn't be wasted, do you remember? Yes, yes. He said that life was something to have a hell of a good time with. But it wasn't a game. He warned us that life could turn deadly in a flash. And I thought he was full of it, you know. But it turned out that I was wrong. You see, I saw things that I was very afraid of, things that I thought I wouldn't do, but I did. Do you want to know what happened? Do you really want to know? I learned exactly how to stay alive, how far I would go to stay alive. And somewhere along the line, I turned into someone that even my father didn't recognize. That's the man that's standing in front of you. A man capable of anything. My brother. Don't ever forget it. Sorry, I'm late. You better be more punctual when you're carrying out the job. As agreed. Half now, half when you eliminate Corinthos and Morgan. The coffee house is crawling with guards. That's why you're in a perfect position to slip a little something extra into Sunny's morning coffee. I don't know. People who mess with Sonny disappear. That is more money than you'll make in ten lifetimes working for Sonny. Now take it, and I guarantee no one will ever find it. Lorenzo, I got Lila the most adorable little dress. I can't wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were company. Maybe I'll just take these upstairs then. Wait a second. I know you. I'm sorry. I don't believe we've ever met. My name is Skye. This is Vincenzo. He's in sales. 
Oh, well, that would explain it. I've shoved every inch of the town. That must be it. Well, I'll let you get back to what you're doing. It's all right. I was just leaving. You'll know when it's done. Well, I'll be waiting with the remainder of your payment. Lorenzo, I promise you I wasn't eavesdropping. I wasn't. I just couldn't wait to show you all the things that I bought Lila. Okay, so what'd you get? Or should I say, what didn't you get? Well, look, I got this. And that store and prints. And the cute. I thought you could use that at night. I didn't want it to be too long about mom and daddy. Oh, isn't that precious? I just can't wait to see you in that. And when do you think that might be? Soon, I hope. Why do you keep pushing this? Because I miss our daughter, and I would think that you would by now, too. Yeah, of course I do. Then why not bring her home? Sky, not until I'm certain that I can trust you. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. What? What? I want you to run a trace on every call Alcazar has received in the last two days, okay? That's all? Okay, um, I just, when you said it was urgent, I just assumed that it would be a little more earth-shattering than yeah, Cyberslip. Yeah, well, one of the calls came from James Craig. The unhinged one's back? No. I have to warn the blonde one. Okay, no, 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 no. The best way to protect Lulu is to find Craig. Can you help me? Right now or not? Yes. Yes, no, you're right, you're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, um, all right, just give me a few seconds to hack into Evil Al's computer records, his phone records, and I'll cross-reference Hey, let go! Uh, Mr. Morgan is in a meeting. Get your hands off of me! Is there a problem? Jason, here? thank God, I really need you to talk to you. You know what, I'm actually in the, in the middle of something very important. Please, this is life or death. It's just going to take five minutes. I know you have no reason to trust me, but I really need to talk to you alone. Careful, Stone Cold. The bad blonde one speaks with a forked tongue. Why don't you start your project outside? It's going to take a few minutes. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The blonde one's erring brother may have succumbed to your duplicitous advances, but Stone Cold will not be swayed. Okay, what do you want? James Craig is back in town and I cannot be find him. Did your plans center around the Metro Court because I owned it? Is that why you sent me to Siberia on a wild goose chase because you wanted to protect your little brother? Yeah, well done, Jerry. Problem with that is you took my fiance hostage. I was hired to be the middleman for a very sensitive transaction. Ironically, it took place in Port Charles. I mean, despite my initial reservations, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to show my new physiognomy, as one says. The service representative was Lorenzo Alcazar. Together, we planned a double cross. He was to put the briefcase in your hotel. I was to steal it, sell it to a third party, and share the profits. Unfortunately, uh, things weren't that simple. I had to improvise. Improvise? That's what you call blowing up a hotel. Oh, you just improvise. Come on, Jack. The place is still standing. Although it was mostly due to the structural integrity of the building. Well done. I mean, when you build things, you build things to last. Excuse me. Yes? I have the information you need. Go on. Do you remember that alley off by a rush street? Every inch. Give me 20 minutes, I'll meet you there. Done. Who's that? I'm afraid I'm going to have to wrap it up. It's good seeing you again. Take care of yourself, Jack. Hey, Jerry. Police station's right across the street. All I have to do is walk over there and turn you in. Really? That would be unwise. What are you going to do, Jerry? You're going to shoot me? <laughs>